Hello and welcome to the first video of 2021! Happy New Year! And to the first album pickups video since March 2020, it's been that long. So let's have a look at the album pickups for December 2020. So I don't think I necessarily need to explain why there was such a large gap between the last album pickups video and this album pickups video. Obviously, with COVID-19 and everything like that going on, all of the record shops have been closed. I could have kept ordering albums, you know, online, but I've been quite busy this year so far and I've been sort of dealing with other things, so I didn't really have much time to go into album pickups, but I certainly got some in December. And uh, we'll actually be starting off firstly with a gift album, which was gifted to me by my dad, and it is the Buddy Rich Big Band. Buddy Rich, the very, very famous jazz drummer who went on to be incredibly influential towards loads of rock drummers who then inspired other drummers and other drummers, and he's sort of like a genesis of drum influence, if you will. And so this is a live album from 1967. And uh, yeah, really, really good. A lot of like swing songs. Uh, there's actually a few oddities in here. For example, there's a cover of the Beatles song, Norwegian Woods, which I think is, uh, is, is it's quite interesting. It's like this sort of like jazzy, swingy version to go along with it. But the thing I think is quite funny of this album is, like I mentioned earlier, my dad had bought this for me. And oddly enough, he'd originally bought it for himself. Now, he sometimes goes through this weird phase where he'll decide to buy an album from a genre he doesn't really like. And I don't know why he does it. I'm glad he does, because he always ends up giving it to me, and I always end up liking these albums. Like, he did in the past with, uh, I think he bought the Ministry of Sound's classic Trance Nation, despite not really being into trance, like, at all. I think he liked one or two of the songs on it. Uh, and he ends up giving it to me, and then, hey, uh, that's, that's how I end up discovering that I really like trance music. And my dad really, really dislikes jazz. Now, I love jazz, but he doesn't like jazz. Neither does really any of my family. I seem to be the only one who actually likes jazz. But I know that occasionally he gets it in him, then he needs to buy a jazz album and try and like it. He actually likes this album, because despite not being huge into jazz, he does like swing, he likes you know, people like Bobby Darren and stuff like that. And he always likes to make this joke that the jazz I listen to, mostly stuff like you know, jazz fusion or beat bop, he always says, boy, it sounds like they've never met each other before and they're all playing different songs. <laughs> and uh, when he gave this to me, he, uh, he phoned me up and said, um, and said, oh, these people, they've all met each other before and they all play everything at the same time. So it's, it's not, the most overly experimental jazz in the world, but it's really, really good, solid swing music, and the drumming is top quality, as you would expect from Buddy Rich. So thank you, Dad, for that album. I really do enjoy this one. Now, these next two albums I bought for myself, and uh, they're both albums that have come out this year, and uh, I've seen them, you know, being advertised on things like Instagram and stuff, and just never went out and bought them when immediately when they came out, but once, once sort of the shops were open again, I thought, go on then, I'll go buy myself a copy of both of these. And the first one is the latest album by the metal band Trivium, and this is What the Dead Men Say. And I don't rate it too highly, honestly. Uh, I've seen some people sort of speak about how they really like it, but other people say not so much. I feel like it's, you know, a little bit disappointing, I feel, a little bit flat. Like, the first couple of songs on it are quite good, but then it sort of, like, peters off a bit. It's just okay. Like, I'll, I'll happily listen through it, but I kind of got a little bit bored, and it's, it's not as good as some of their other stuff, I'm afraid. But, the final album I bought this month can, uh, oh, very much wash away the uh, bitter taste of that album not being very good, and that is the latest album from the uh, thrash metal band Testament, and this is Titans of Creation, and I, I, I bought these two, at the same time, listen to this one first, so I was listening to a lot of Trivium at the time, wanting to listen to it, and it was just, mm, and then put this in, and this completely lifted my spirits again. Trivium, to me, are like a fine wine. I think their later albums are better than their earlier ones. Not to say the early ones aren't brilliant, because they are, but Testament are a fine wine because they've aged so well. They're still so heavy, and so driving, and I love their music. And this album is kind of a continuation of the sound they've had since, uh, what was it, the formation of Damnation, since Alex Skolnick returned to the fold. And the albums about him are also really, really good, but they're a little bit more sort of like, leaning towards almost trying to be like death metal, but this is definitely sort of, it's got all the original aggression and grit of early thrash, but with the, with, I would say sort of like the more chunky heaviness that came with later thrash albums and just brilliant album. So those are all for this month. Uh, if I manage to buy any more albums in January, I'll do another video on them. If not, there are going to be other videos uh, I've, I've already actually filmed and have plans, just need to edit them and release them. They'll be coming out in the coming weeks and months. And so uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. And I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.